and all i am mrs n shri devi would like to speak little physics in front of you all put in front of you all the thing which i am going to handle today is uh, the crystals how they are formed so let us look into the matter matter actually matter we all have learned uh, actually matter is made up of i mean uh, three kinds of matter are there first is a uh, solid and liquid and gases these three kinds of matter we knew time and again we knew, we all knew from class 4th to 3rd onwards we have learned about it in higher higher uh, order of physics uh, we are going to speak about solids uh, solids uh, what are the different kinds of solids we knew about the first thing we know solids which are crystalline solids crystalline solids and the other kind of solid which we knew is uh, amorphous amorphous solids so let us know in detail what is a crystalline solid and what is uh, an amorphous solid uh, with uh, a small i mean a day to day material which i have in my hand i'll show it to you thank so solids are of two kinds as i already told you that is crystalline and amorphous let us know what is a crystalline solid crystalline solid is a solid which is made of uh, which is made of uh, a periodic pattern of atoms periodic arrangement of atoms that is called as a crystalline solid and amorphous amorphous is a, a non crystalline you can say negation of crystalline actually it is non crystalline and in this non crystalline it doesn't have any periodic arrangement no periodic arrangement arrangement of no periodic arrangement of atoms means there is no pattern which is formed in this uh, solid let us see both the solids examples i just brought two things to you all the first thing is first thing is a crystalline solid you may be able to observe this uh, crystalline solid how tough it is to look at and what is the periodic arrangement of this solid here and the other one is uh, a non crystalline solid uh, a non crystalline solid uh, in this non crystalline solid you can say there's no pattern particular pattern or the periodic signs of atoms which are formed in this uh, this is an amorphous uh, solid and which is a crystalline solid so this crystal periodic uh, arrangement of atoms it follows certain patterns it follows certain patterns this pattern is explained in this class to you all how this pattern is done let us suppose suppose i want to show you one uh, two dimensional structure that is a rectangle how are we going to plot a rectangle plot here see this is a this is b this is c and this is d and we all even knew that uh, the opposite sides of a rectangle are parallel as well as equal equal and the uh, structure of rectangle the corners all the four corners uh, they hold 90 degrees each this is the 2d structure of a rectangle similarly in crystalline solids how the periodic arrangement of atoms uh, follow certain patterns uh, let us uh, see that uh, what kind of patterns they are going to be given to us uh, among that one one particular pattern i want to show you which is uh, called as uh, a hexagonal structure hexagonal structure as an example i would like to show you hexagonal structure of a crystal i want to show before that giving you before giving you that hexagonal structure i would like to speak more about uh, what a crystalline structure in the form of an hexagonal structure will be leading us to know what more vocabulary it involves us to let to know about it let us speak that uh, speak to that in this session only this is the structure of nacl crystal it is a crystal lattice let us look into that what a lattice is just now we have seen a crystal lattice 
is the hexagonal crystal you can observe here that there is a hexagon here also here also there is a there is a hexagon all the six atoms are packed in such a way that they are they form a hexagon and even the sides of this i mean the faces of this are forming a rectangle here let us know more about this hexagonal structure and how this crystal is formed based on what factor factors a crystal can be formed and all will learn it in my next class. Thank you all.